Okay, welcome to Financial Computing 2 in Mini 3 of 2023. Welcome back. Uh, this is going to be familiar in, in terms of uh, you know how the course is going to run and so on. I am this guy, John K. Ostland, and I will be doing uh, live lectures on Monday and Wednesday mornings uh, from 1010 to 1140. Now, during the very first week, we will actually have lectures on Wednesday and Friday from 1010 to 1140 uh, to uh, make up for the Monday uh, that we uh, didn't have classes at the beginning of this uh, week, okay? Um, I will be available to you more or less all the time as as you've experienced before. Uh, never hesitate to send me email questions on evenings or weekends or whatever. We will have office hours every week, and I've posted the links to these uh, in an announcement, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, each Friday evening, and from 12.01 p.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday uh, midday. Homework assignments will be due at the end of Sunday uh, night each week, which is why I want to have my uh, office hours for you on Friday night and uh, Saturday afternoon. All right, we are ably assisted by half a dozen uh, teaching assistants who will, uh, for the most part, be helping me with grading uh, homework assignments, uh, but you should feel free to ask them uh, questions. The final exam for the course will be a hands-on programming final exam, similar in nature to the Python programming final exam. That is, it's going to be a, a, a long and difficult, long and challenging uh, hands-on exam on Friday, March 3rd, between 10 a.m. and 1 uh, p.m. All right? And so I will give a lot more details about that as the uh, as the exam uh, approaches. Okay, let's see. So for this course, as far as software, uh, we're going to be using uh, Visual Studio Code as our development environment, and within Visual Studio Code, we're going to be using the GNU C++ uh, compiler. We'll be using that running on Ubuntu Linux, uh, in turn making use of the Windows subsystem for Linux uh, if you're doing all this on Windows 10. Now, if you're using a Mac, you can also use Visual Studio Code, and you can also use the GNU C++ compiler. Uh, if you can't get that to behave, you can instead use something called Xcode uh, as an alternative. And there are instructions for uh, Windows about how to do this installation. Um, I have stolen or borrowed instructions from uh, Professor Kramkov for the Mac uh, installation, which unfortunately I don't have uh, my own direct experience uh, with that. Okay. Uh, here are very useful books to have access to. Uh, I think each one of these is in the vicinity of a hundred bucks or so, so I'm not going to, uh, you know, require you to uh, to buy them. Um, Bjarne Strustrup, who originated the C++ language, has a very good, uh, very thorough uh, introduction to the C++ programming language. It's about uh, 1,200 pages long or so. Uh, then this fellow, Nikolai... Josudis has got a really excellent book about the standard C++ programming library, uh, which is another thousand pages approximately. And David Vandevoort, in, in uh, cooperation with Josudis and Douglas Greger, uh, has a book about defining uh, templates, uh, which is yet another about 800 pages or so. So, uh, you know, that's about 3,000 pages worth of 
reading material between those three books. And if you read all of that stuff, you will you will know a lot, but you will still not know everything <laughs> that there is to know about C++. So obviously, I'm not going to be able to cover uh, 3,000 pages worth of stuff in seven weeks, but we're going to try to give you a, a, a fighting chance to uh, understand C++ uh, up to a point of being able to do things that are uh, uh, at a sort of advanced intermediate level of uh, programming, let's say. Uh, grading is going to be very similar to what we did for the Python course. There will be homework assignments on a weekly basis that will be worth a combined 20% of your class grade. There will be topic quizzes that will be worth a total of 35%, and there will be a final exam, as I've already mentioned, worth 45%. I think uh, most of the rest of this is details that you can read through. Very similar in structure to the Python course. Okay, so I'm not going to read through all of this stuff uh, for you. All right, and I will see you, I hope, on uh, Wednesday morning, the 18th, at 10 after 10 for the first uh, lecture. Okay, take care. Bye.